An important component of all maker spaces seems to be cardboard. Now, whether it be the thin food box style cardboard, which is very easy to get from donations, or corrugated cardboard, which is easiest to get from dumpster diving, or just everyone uh, with their Amazon boxes, I found a lot one time behind a shoe store. Big boxes and small boxes. Now, once you start getting cardboard, you need some other things. You need some good ways to cut cardboard. This is a nice battery operated or plug in cutter. It does an awesome job. Helps you. That blade can be gapped by fingers. So, gotta be careful with that. Also, some good cardboard scissors. Regular scissors will work okay for cereal box, food box, cardboard, but for the corrugated, it's really going to be a pain. So these are some nice cardboard scissors. Other people have um, canary cutters. Oops, already did that one. Um, or a blade, depending on if you can work with blades. Now, if you have blades, you also need to get cutting mats. They come in various sizes and they could be self-healing so that they don't get destroyed too quickly. Once you start playing more with cardboard also, you need to start having um, displays of how to attach cardboard to itself, to each other. Um, some people do this in a poster form. They kind of make these and then put them up on a poster board. Um, there are lots of pictures online about people's examples. But just kind of taping things together, um, hot gluing, like this is hot glued, but the gussets are what really gives it the support. Um, even showing people how to bend your cardboard by scoring it. So you need something like that. And if you want also, there are various connect plastic connectors that you can buy. These are um, by th uh, these are three ducks. Um, you could th you could you know three D print some different kind of connectors if you have a three D printer. Have kids design those. You know playing with the thickness is really important and a little edge there to hold on to them. And other people had found these things called make dos, which are screws that are going to screw through the cardboard. Now you might need to get a little pop in a pinhole there kind of thing to get started in. Um, the kit usually comes with its own little screwdriver. Goes in like that. And a screw cardboard together. The great thing with, with uh, the three docks or the make dos, whatever other kind of connector you can find, um, is that they are reusable. Uh, the kit also comes with a kind of a saw rough edge and thin edge, and it doesn't really hurt. I mean, if I really pressed hard and grabbed it and pulled it with her, but there's just running it across my hand and not a big deal. So cardboard, very important part. You want to fail fast, fail cheaply. Cardboard is a great way for prototyping. Um, you can even put cardboard, if you have a laser cutter, you can put cardboard into a laser cutter to really um, get the precision that you need eventually. For, you know, you want to start prototyping with rough stuff rough measurements, but then you want to get to some pre precision um, so you could laser cut cardboard. The food box cardboard you can actually put in a Cricut or a Cameo, those craft cutters. So you start talking about two-dimensional design with measurements that matter that can be uh, cut out with precision. So there are some ideas on using cardboard in your makerspace.